Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Tuesday, September the 20th, and I'm just back from Costa Rica. I was down there this past month, and I'm just down at Toronto Harbour Front looking at uh, AIS, and we're going to look at ADSB. Uh, you can see the setup here. We've got uh, the version 2 RTL SDR with just a whip antenna and a USB cable. We're looking at the uh, AIS signal on uh, SDR Angel, and um, Next, what we're going to do, after we look at the uh, AIS and the ADSB, we're going to add a second RTL, and we're going to look at ADSB and a AIS on the same, um, the same map. Okay, so we're looking at our um, STR Angel setup for AIS. Now, I'm using the, the latest version of STR Angel, which is really cool because they have two different um, workspace possibilities here. Um, before, it was just one workspace, and if you had a lot of modules, it got kind of cluttered. But what I've done is I've separated out um, into two different workspaces to make it easier to see. So basically, on the first workspace, W0 here, I have the device, receive device. This is the RTL, and I've got it set up for 162 megahertz. And then uh, I've got two AIS receivers or demodulators. Uh, the first demodulator is set up for minus uh, 25 kilohertz, so that'll be the 87B channel at 161.95, and you can see the activity here, the pulsing GMMSK there. Um, and I've also set it up for UDP packets so I can see it on OpenCPN. There's the uh, address there, uh, and MEA, and then the second demodulator here is set up for plus 25 kilohertz, that'll be 162.025, that'll be 88B channel. And you can see the activity on there, occasionally pulsing there, can you see right there. All right. Um, so those are the two, uh, the two AIS demodulators. And if we go over to workspace one, I've got the AIS feature set up there. So what, what we see here is, a, is the summary of all the uh, reception from the two demodulators there. And then on the map, uh, I'm seeing all the various uh, contacts, the MMSI numbers. So uh, the SDR Angel is a very, very sensitive receiver. You can see a lot of stuff there. And if I go over to OpenCPN, there's OpenCPN. Uh, I can see a lot of activity. So uh, all I have to do is, is click on one of these. There's Iron Guppy, my favorite boat there in the Toronto Harbor. There's Envy on Guerra, Empire Sandy, Omnicos Less Down and Spadina Key. So that's just a summary then of using um, SDR Angel for AIS, the new uh, W0 and W1 layout. We're going to look at uh, ADSB next, and then we're going to look at them both together on the same map. Okay, so now we're using the same RTL, and we're up at 1090. Um, or 1.09 gigahertz or 1090 megahertz and you can see here um, there's the receive device it's set now at 1090 I'm using the full bandwidth I need the full bandwidth to get the um, ADSB signals and there's my um, ADSB demodulator and those are all the various contacts there's a lot of activity down here and there's the map for instance, if I click on this, it tells me, uh, it's pretty amazing, it tells you the uh, all the data about the particular aircraft. So um, this is a, a very sensitive, as the AIS, it's a very sensitive receiver, uh, and all the data is shown there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a second RTL, and we're going to get the AIS and the ADSB on the same local map. Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Thursday, September the 22nd, flash forward a few days. So previously we looked at the AIS separately and then we looked at the uh, ADSB separately. So today what I've got is I brought down two RTL uh, receivers. This is uh, a version two, which I've got set up to uh, a one meter whip antenna and I'm using that for the um, AIS. And then I've got a second one here. I don't have uh, two version twos. I've got, ver this is version three with E4000 tuner that I use for my GOES receiver. Uh, I don't really need it. It's got a bias T. You got to be careful when you're playing around with a bias T. Put the antenna on before you connect it. You don't want to short out the bias T. And I've got a short whip antenna on there for the ADSB. Right now we're looking at the map and what's great about the 
the uh, STR Angel is you can see both the AIS and the ADSB on the same local map. Uh, I'll switch over to Camtasia in a minute. But the advantage of that is, especially if you're on a, an exploration or an oil rig, let's say you're off Newfoundland or in the North Sea between Scotland and Norway, or maybe off Indonesia in the South China Sea, uh, you're gonna, you want to you know what ships are coming to your rig or where, who's close by, and you also want to know what helicopters are coming in. So this has the advantage of being able to display both on the same map. So we'll switch over to Camtasia. Okay, so previously we looked at the AIS separately and the ADSB separately. Now let's look at them being received together. So the advantage of the new um, layout for SDR Angel is you can have different workspaces and the windows are very flexible now. It's a really, really uh, good layout. So let's look at W0. And W0, I have a receive device, uh, RTL SDR. That's on USB 1. It's set up for 162 megahertz. That's between 87B and 88B. Um, I've got a gain of 40.2. I'm setting up for sampling rate of about 1 mega samples per second. You don't need a big sampling rate because the bandwidth is not that great. So you can see activity on both 88B and uh, 87B. So if I look at the first uh, demodulator, the first demodulator is set at 87B, so it's minus 25 kilohertz, so that would be 161.975. And I've also set it up to send UDB packets to OpenCPN on port 41459. And uh, there's de demodulator 2, and it's set up at plus 25 kilohertz on 162.025. Now on workspace 1, I've got the AIS feature set up. So basically what you're doing here is you're con collecting all the data uh, from 87B and 88B and as well there's a map uh, feature there and that's where we can see the AIS and the ADSB. So we can see planes on here, we'll get to the ADSB in a minute which is incredible. And if we, if the AIS receiver is very sensitive on open on uh, uh, SDR Angel. So those are all the various AIS contacts. Those are all the uh, aircraft that are in view right now. So let's go to workspace number two. Now there's workspace number two, and I've got the uh, USB zero, which is the RTL on that USB port. Uh, it's set up at 1090 megahertz, which is the uh, ADSB frequency. And uh, I've got the full sample rate here of 2400 megahertz, or 2.4 uh, samples per second. I don't have any decimation on because I need the full bandwidth there. There's my ADSB demodulator. Okay. And as I say, we're collecting both the ADSB and the AIS on the map feature on workspace number one. We can also look at what data is being received here, which is really incredible. There's also a separate map feature tied into the ADSB demodulator. So you've got a map for the ADSB and you've got a map collecting both. So this is very, very use, uh, uh, versatile. Let's look at OpenCPN. Okay, so we should see our AIS contacts in a minute. Okay, it takes a while to load. There we go. So we're seeing our various uh, AIS contacts. So then just to summarize, on the uh, map feature, we're seeing the AIS and the ADSB as well on the AIS uh, demodulators for channel 87B and 88B, I can send the data to OpenCPN. So this is a very, very uh, flexible arrangement. And also the uh, ADSB and the AIS receivers on the SDR Angel are very sensitive and you pick up a lot of traffic.